Hi, welcome to your SMO art class in your own home. I don't know about you, but with all this time at home, I've been painting and drawing and um, getting a lot done. Um, today I want to show you how to draw a SMO night so that you can hang it in your front window. Uh, we're going to go over some of the shapes we're going to be using today. And the first thing we're going to do is go over a light pencil. So remember when I showed you in class, like if you draw lines and they progressively get darker and a lot of kids like to draw in this area well if I go and try to erase these lines you're gonna see the dark ones still but my light one is almost completely gone so let's remember we're gonna use a really light pencil um, we're gonna draw a big circle head and we're gonna draw it with a light pencil until we get the shape that we like, because sometimes the shape isn't perfect. Then we're gonna draw two kind of arches for the knight's helmet. He's got, he's got a kind of a nice arched helmet. Uh, some of the other shapes we're gonna draw are the knight's shield, and the knight's shield is like, you draw it with a, like the letter T, and then you connect the outside line you come in kind of an arch to the bottom of the T, and then you do the same arch the other way, and then you have his shield. Um, we're gonna be drawing his ears over here, and they're gonna look like a question mark, and a backwards question mark. We're gonna draw some eyeballs, remember light pencil, and then we're gonna draw his mouth. So those are some of the shapes. We're gonna draw his hand, and when we draw his hand, we're going to just draw ovals kind of close together. Um, all right. Well, that's that's kind of a good just to get us started. So let's start with our, uh, get, grab any kind of piece of paper you have at home, um, like a piece of copier paper, or if you have a drawing notebook, whatever works. It can, you can draw it on anything. And we're going to start by drawing the knight's head, which is, he has kind of a large head. So I'm doing the motion of what I think the head size will look like. And then I'll put my pencil down lightly and start making some circle shapes until I see a shape that I like. Okay. So now that I got a shape that I like, I'll start putting in some of the things that make the knight really look like um, a knight. We got to draw his helmet. And on the helmet, he has the front part is a grate. So this is like kind of a bracket on one side and another bracket on the other side. Once you draw those brackets, we're gonna connect them. So if you lightly, lightly draw a line down the middle, we'll know where the middle of his head is. And we're gonna draw a upward angled line to, to the middle and then we're gonna go down. And this one we're gonna go kind of draw it down and then this side we're gonna go up. So we have kind of a, a shape that looks like it's curving. That's what we're trying to do. Now that I have this light line down the middle, I'm gonna lightly sketch in three rectangles on each side, leaving a little space in between. And they can be any size you want. The way I usually make them is they get a little bit smaller as they get towards the edge. So this is my largest, a little bit smaller. And then I'll just do the reverse I'll kind of come over here and look at the size I made and then a, a little bit of a reverse here too. And then this one's going to be a little bit smaller. And because I'm drawing with a light pencil, I can fix all these shapes. So if they're not perfect, that's no problem because that's what an eraser is for and we'll have a marker and we'll get it all. We'll get it all right. So that's kind of the shape of the grate on his helmet. And we're going to make the top of his helmet because I already have a nice light arch. I'm just going to fill that in a little bit darker. And on top, he's got a little nub, which is like a half circle. Okay, so that's the top part of his helmet. Now we have to make our knight. Uh, I can erase my middle line. I won't need that anymore. We're going to use the grates so that I can figure out where to put his eyes on both sides. I want it to be the same. So I'm gonna to go to the second grate on this side. One, two, three, there's three on this side. I'm gonna to go to the second grate and come down. And then I start doing a circle until I get the right size that I want. 
I'm going to make it right below that grate. Now I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to do a nice little circle there. And to make eyeballs look kind of like the real eyeballs, you put in little circles for the reflective part of your eye, the, the part that the light shines on. And then you color in the background. Now you can color this in later when you have, if you're going to color it in in marker or pencil, whatever you have. Okay, my knight is a smiley guy. He's super happy. And so I'm going to just draw a light arch. And then for his nose, I'm going to draw a smaller version right above it. Oops. Yep. Okay, so now let's fill in the rest of his head. So we're going to fill in, you know, his head. So here's his head. His chin. I kind of have a circle. So his head is going to be a little bit smaller than its helmet, okay? Because it's like a hat. So it's not going to go all the way to this edge. we got to leave a little room here. Now we're going to draw his hair. So if you go to my second uh, little hole there, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to come down on a slant right near his eyeball. And then we're going to draw a backwards question mark. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come down to this slant. And I'm going to draw a forwards question mark. And that's his little ears. So again, I don't want you to shade this in now, but I'm just showing you that this is going to be his hair. So we're going to, you'll color that in. Um, and if you want to make this a girl uh, night, you could just make the hair longer. And you can color the hair any color to make it look like you, more like you. Okay, so now we're going we're gonna to continue to use our grates. Um, and we're going to go to the, this grate, the third grate, and we're going to go straight down from here. And we're going to draw a little slanted line out that way. Then I'm gonna, so then I'm going to go to this one, this grate. I'm going to come straight down and I'm going to draw a little slanted line out there. For this is for his neck. <clears throat> his neck connects into like a little, he's got like a little V shape right there. And we're going to make a small line on either side for his shoulder. And now, this always looks like a pizza slice to me. He's got a little um, armor on his, on his uh, shoulders. And it kind of looks like a pizza wedge to me. That's what I always think of when I draw it. So, so about the same on both sides. Okay, so that's kind of his shoulders. Now, on this side, my little knight, he holds a shield. So I'm gonna do a line, a horizontal line, and make a T. You can make the shield as big as you want. Once you make this T, you're going to go from the outside to the bottom of this in kind of an arched. You don't want to make it a straight like a you don't want to do a straight line down. You want to make it arched. Look how I'm arching it. See, and then it makes it look like he's holding a shield. Okay, then we got to finish his arm. So here comes his arm. This arm over here is going to be holding an Easter basket because it's our Easter smo night. So we're going to come off with two kind of arched lines going down like that. And once you get the arch line down, we're going to put a line across and two little V's. And you get to pause this tape. If I'm going too fast, which I am going a little bit fast, you get to pause the tape and take a look at what I'm doing. So don't feel like you have to rush. Okay, so we're going to finish uh, the smallest knight's body. And he's going to come down here straight line and then we're going to come veer out and make a little kind of candy cane shape down there for one of his feet and then we'll come up and make this is going to be a v an upside down look at that a v right there upside down and then his other foot comes over here and again like kind of a candy cane shape for the top all right Looks like I made my shield a little too small, so you can always make corrections because I drew with a light pencil. Yeah, I don't like how light that is. Or small. Okay, that's looking better. And now uh, my Smo Knight is going to have an Easter basket in his hand. So right here, um, I'm going to draw his fingers, and they're just going to be four little ovals. 
like that, and he's gonna have a basket coming out of here. So the basket, if you wanna make the basket, you're gonna make a nice little upside down U, kind of a big one, okay? And at the bottom of the U, we wanna put a little bit of an arch going down for our round basket. And now we're gonna make a, the right way U, an upside right U, and that's our Easter basket. So the handle of the Easter basket's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna draw a second U shape there and then outline it. And to make it look like a basket, I'm gonna come down and just give it some lines to make it look like a wicker basket, you know, like an Easter basket. Okay, well, what do we need in our Easter basket? But we need some eggs. But we're gonna, not gonna draw the whole egg because the egg's gonna be sitting in the basket. So we're gonna be drawing eggs at different heights in here. He's got all sorts of eggs to pass out. And there we go. And we'll just, and then we can color all those in later. Um, my small knight has a belt, so we're gonna draw our belt, which is two straight lines across. And remember, we put two little lines down and then a rectangle in the middle, and that's our small knight belt. Okay, what am I missing? What else do you need? He needs a feather on top. So the feather on top's kind of a, just a big arch. Sticking out, you can make the feather look any way you want. But, oh, and I gotta finish my small knight's hand. And that is our Easter Small Knight. Now he needs a ton of coloring. So you can color him in with markers, crayons, whatever you have. Uh, anything you want to make him look fun and Eastery. And then I hopefully you'll hang him up in your front window. So when I drive him by, I can see you guys. Okay, enjoy that lesson. Bye-bye. I got this feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on And if you want it inside your soul Just open up your heart, let music take control I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, 